that view absolutely priceless. Of course, I do mean of the kids and guys instantly. You see a shark? There might be sharks in this water. This is amazing. Not even sure where we are. We got lost trying to find a certain place, but we're going to check out this little board over here and see where we actually are. Connected by water. Water. Hey, Turtle Island? I wonder, is that right in front of us? Oh yeah, because look, there's that house right there. The Winter Harbor Light on Mark Island. I'm pretty sure that's it right there. Get you guys a better look. Is that it? Is that it? Let's see. You guys tell me, is that the picture or am I still filming the actual building itself? Mmm, let's see again. Oh wow, that is nice. Okay, so, so right there and then right beyond that is Turtle Island, which... I don't know, it doesn't look the same at this point. Unless I'm looking at it backwards, which that could be the case. No, that doesn't make any sense. I think it has to be from this direction, but look. Oh yeah, there's the mountains, the Cadillac Mountains in the back. We've been told about those. Honestly, guys, I promise you, we're lost. We don't know where we're going. We got lost along the way. We were trying to find some type of park called Schoonick or something like that, but we didn't end up finding it. There's a lobster boat. It's not currently there. But look at those little sea monkeys enjoying themselves. This is awesome. This is really cool. I'm glad we got lost. Me too. I'd like to keep following this beautiful road, which there's nothing for miles each way. This is the first sign we came across. <laughs> oh, look at that. The Wabanaki people traveled coastal and inland waters by birch bark canoes. In addition to fishing, canoes fostered seasonal movement and trading essential to life. Wabanaki way of life. Very cool. This is amazing. We're going to go explore down there and have some fun. And maybe we'll figure out where we're going. Wow, look at that rock formation right there. This is the God's green earth that I always mention. Because I'm always like, what on God's green earth? There it is. That's God's green earth. Wow. And you can see the water. I think we're in low tide right now. And low tide here is like real low tide. Like I'm pretty sure the water comes all the way up to here. And you can see it's all the way down there right now. It is about 2... 30 in the afternoon oh this is beautiful it is warm today it is 88 degrees but it does not feel like it because of the beautiful wind that's coming in with this coastal area you want to go explore by these rocks yeah i'm waiting on you to help oh okay Baron. oh okay <laughs> voila there we go the help has been indeed given. Look at that what? little monkey on the back. <laughs> My little sea monkeys. He's so cute. I know, you both are. And all these little kids are. All right, I'm going to close this door just in case. Don't want any ravenous seagulls coming into our car. I've heard them. They go, ah, ah, and they spit some white stuff at you, and it always lands in your eyes, so you have to be extremely careful. And guys, and guys. Oh wow, that's a huge crab claw. Tons of barnacles over there. And barnacles? Cool. Alright, let's go look. Show us the way, Explorer Jackson. You found more crab claws too? Jackson found it? Very cool. Yeah, we're gonna be extra, extra careful. I believe that is Turtle Island. We're not going to be able to get out there. The water is actually really... Well, I mean, the way the wind is coming in a lot, so it makes sense why the water is really choppy, but... This is amazing! Look at all this coastal way to explore! And guys, the mussels in that mussel pool that I said Ooh. are actually alive! No way! Yeah! Is it... Oh, I see it! I think I see it! Wow, this is... These are nice rocks! They almost sound fake, don't they? Oh, that would be cool. Of course we'll wait for you, you beautiful flower. Look at those. Do you remember what these are? These? Yeah, people were telling us that these are called rose apples. And look, there's a beetle in this one. Mm, apples. Yes, they are apples, but they're rose apples. I don't know. Probably don't taste that great. We're not going to take a Dare Me Jeremy or taking a risk on this one. We're just going to walk away. You guys ate all of our snacks on the way here, so I can understand why you guys might still be hungry. But, we are dying for some actual seafood. 
Uh oh, I took the wrong route. Big leap. Watch out! <laughs> nice. Mink. Oh. oh wow! Look at that. The tide comes all the way up to here. Like, look where we are. This is very high up. This is at least 10 feet from those rocks down there up. So crazy that the water will actually come up this high. That is so nutty. I can't imagine. I can't imagine the water getting up this high, but you can literally see it on the rocks where it changes color from where the water was. How impressive is that? That is so wonky. Oh, wow, you found some little mussels. And there's Oh, yes. <laughs> Barnacles galore. Oh, yeah, you found a crab claw. Very, very cool. Now we are. Wow, I bet there's crabs all over this, too. But if we, Oh, wow, yeah, these are all barnacles. And if we look around, we might actually be able to see some... Barnacles are extremely hard and durable. Wow, Jax, did you find all these? No, what? Whoa! And there's also a bigger one right there. There is so many mussels. Try not to cut your hands on the barnacles. Yes, be very careful on the barnacles. Oh wow, there's a huge snail over there. I right there, you see it? No. Keep looking. Right there. Ooh, that's a big snail. Oh, I saw something. Oh wow, and there's like a huge group of snails just right there. What a beautiful day. Wow, come look at this pool, guys. Wow. <laughs> This is the biggest mussel area that we've seen so far. How amazing. Mussels upon mussels. Check out the gun show, y'all. And I've only ever seen one. Now I've seen millions. Millions. They're literally all over this. How cool. Yes, look. Be very careful. Oh, I love that sound. Right here. You look at all of you. You're getting snacks for everybody. I love it. No, not. You're not gonna eat them. You're not gonna sprinkle some garlic lemon butter on them. Mm. Snails for days. They're literally all over. Do you see them, guys? You see all the snails. They're all over. Evelyn is having an absolute field day. I am trying to get as close to this water as possible to explore it. What is that? Is that a snail? It's a big one. It's a oh, big one. Really Evelyn, check this one out. He's actually so big, he's got something growing on him. That is a huge one, huh? <laughs> yeah, look at that face. You are so cute. There's another snail growing. Look at how many snails there are. This is the snail tree. Look, guys, you don't have to look far. They're all over the place. I see oh, I love I it. Oh my goodness. Yes, they're huge and they're all over. There's no signs that say you can't do this, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. Here we go. Woo! Wow, and the snails just keep on increasing. I love the shape of them, too. And there is literally, this whole rock is covered in barnacles. What a view. Such a perfect day. I'm right on the edge. Hoping to find the biggest snail ever. Hey, I think there's something right there. A lobster or a little shrimp or a crab or something. I'm going to turn the camera off and grab him. Or it. Check this area out. This is so awesome. Look at how the water comes all the way up here. And then it dips right back down. Oh, that is so cool. It's a makeshift waterfall right here. And I swear, I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I saw a seal or two doing some tricks. He was singing songs. A kiss from a rose from a rose. That's why I swear I heard it. I heard he came up, he started singing. A seal doing tricks, it was cool. I don't know what kind of boat that is over there, but as long as it's not the Coast Guard, I don't care. They, that might be a whale watching boat. And we were told that you can see whales in this area, but you really do have to dip out far into the water. They're not gonna come across upon the uh, inland area but you never know you know they're wild animals they do as they please when they can when they want to so it is possible that we could see some 
That is a huge boat. I have to imagine. I can see tons of people looking over the edge and stuff like that. They may be whale watching. They're definitely doing some type of watching. That's not just for a leisurely crew. I don't think that's a yacht, a mega yacht they're having a party. No, that's some type of excursion that they went on and they're exploring, doing something super cool. Not as cool as what we're doing, of course, watching them do stuff. There's nothing cooler than that. And guys, she found the babiest of baby snails, which is awesome as well. Super duper cool. Surprisingly enough, this stuff is not as slippery or slick as you would think. It's pretty easy to walk on. Look at all of those snails. There's snails. The snail trail is strong. Check it out. Evelyn showed me this side right here. Look at all those snails. I'm gonna call this the taking a snail trail show. There's little ones everywhere. This is so cool how it comes up into these rocks and then just disappears. Look at this wild child getting all down and dirty for some snails. <laughs> She's so cute. Yeah, it's crazy how you would think this stuff would be super slippery and hard to walk on, but it's not. It's actually the opposite. It is like extremely grippy and I don't know. How cool. And that's all barnacles. All of this white stuff is barnacles. Barnacles, as far as the eye can see. And wow, I haven't even looked this way yet, and that looks amazing as well. I would love to get onto those little islands and check those out. Oh, here's another pool. Let's get down and dirty. Wow! Oh my goodness! Should we tell her? Should we tell her that there's a trillion and one snails over here? I'm surprised she hasn't followed me yet. But I heard something, something squeaked at me. It sounded like it was spitting water. Look at those mollusks on the move. How cool. What the heck did I just find? I don't even know if the camera can pick them up. There they are. You see those little things that are moving? Those little tiny things? Oh, there they all go. Holy moly. What the heck are those? How cool. I was looking at this muscle that's trapped in between this rock and I was about to try and oh yeah he is loose I wonder if they're eating him oh yeah that's just a shell what did you find oh yeah that's a really pretty one good find kiddo he's wedged in there pretty good I got him I think my little helper careful don't cut your hands he's in there he's okay I'm sure he's okay yeah, you find, you're finding bugs? Yeah. Me too, I was just filming them. They're all over. Look at all of those snails in there. In the big ones, there are lots of bugs. All right, so we finished up with that other area and we decided to drive down, trying to get out of this area. We're not sure where we're going. We keep thinking like we need to stop and ask for directions, but we haven't come across anybody who can give us directions. But look what we just found. This amazing area and there's a rock path that goes all the way to those forest island looking things over there and we are definitely definitely going to get over there i'm so excited all right i don't know what the heck just happened but a ferrari went by us a corvette went by us a car from the 1940s went by us a chevy truck from the 1950s went by us i don't know what the heck that was, it was like a little parade of nice vehicles but here we are evelyn's leading the way we're getting to this we just walked from all the way over there. We parked all the way by those trees over there. There's people snorkeling over here. How cool. There's a brown sign that says, do not remove rocks, which is perfect. Because I was nervous for a minute that I was going to say, do not walk on rocks. And that would completely blow this whole trip that we're trying to take here because this is so amazing. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. This is going to be quite the adventure we've got quite the trek ahead of us but as you can see this will all get wet with high tide so we kind of have to do this quickly because there is places around here that when it's low tide you can make it no problem there's an easy walkway but as soon as that high tide hits you're stranded on that island because it fills up i mean you could swim or if you bring a boat or some sort you get boat but you have to be careful with stuff like that because you'll get stranded on islands. And if you don't like to swim or you don't have a way to cross over, you're going to be stuck there all night until low tide comes back in, able to walk back over. How incredible. 
those mountains in the distance are just pristine. I shouldn't even say it, but the bugs are a minimal right now. Oh, no. I know, like how wild. And we've got this like nasty looking lagoon right here, which you would think would be like a breeding ground for all types of biting bugs. Even Baron's having a great time. Look at this little guy. He brought some chapstick just in case he gets dry lips. Even though it's beautiful out here. Everyone's finding cool stuff. Oh wow, yes. I'm sure there's tons of shells if you look hard enough. If we get closer to the water, I bet there's tons. Uh-oh, we might not be able to make it. Oh no. Our journey might be halted. I saw it from the distance, but I was like, maybe, just maybe, there's a way across. I mean, we could always take off our shoes. You guys are wearing water shoes. Yeah. Dad's wearing shoes and socks. I think mom's wearing shoes and socks. Oh, incredible. And this is over in the Arcadia area of Maine. We drove about an hour to get here. We got lost, of course. Come on, I'm coming. Where are we going? Yeah, I saw that. I was gonna show the kids in just a second. No, yeah, there's a bunch of them. There's another one right there. What'd you find? Yay, more snails. Without a shell. Check out the shell that me and mommy just found over there. Oh, look, here's another one right there. See it? Keep looking. You don't see the big crab shell. No. Keep looking. Oh. There you go. Oh yeah. Oh, that yeah. is some good eats right there. I wonder if we'll find any alive ones. We kind of have diverted from the path that we wanted to take because we're trying to get some cool video this, footage. Yes, I'm coming, I'm coming. This now only has half a shell. So amazing. Did you know that's called a carapace? Yeah. That's part of its carapace. See how many carapaces we can find. We've already found two. We found three, technically. And actually, I think I found a bunch earlier. These rocks are very loose. And I was telling the family how all this will become sand millions of years from now. This will be one beautiful beach. I'd like to be around to see that. But you know, it is what it is. Check it out, I Whoa. wasn't lying. Look at how many Jackson has already collected so far. What are you gonna do with those? Um, There's only one correct answer to this. Try and find their owners? Oh, well. Eat them. Eat them. Yes, keep them and make it into? Food. No, you can't eat that, that's shell. Oh. A suit of? Crabs. <laughs> yes, crab armor. Make yourself a suit of crab armor and you'll be impervious. The seagull's pecking at you, I think. You and your snails, man. Everywhere we go. <laughs> All right, we made it. And there's definitely a separation of land here. I'm thinking it looks like it might be really low right here where it gets really fast. Usually you'll see that when there's a lot of rocks. Wow, look at all the barnacles. Let me get you a closer look. Barnacles galore all over these rocks because high tide comes in and this all gets filled back up. Look, there's another family that came out. I think they had the same idea we did, but we got stuck picking up snails and crab shells. And it looks like our journey might actually end right here. That looks real deep right there in the middle. Oh, I was really excited to get over there and I do not want to take my shoes off and walk across this barnacle infested rock area. That's just asking for sliced feet. And I'm not trying to get sliced feet. Maybe it's even more shallow over here where it's really rocky. You guys, are you wearing socks and shoes? Just shoes? Okay, so you could walk across this. Oh wow, I'm so tempted. I definitely want to go and see those woods up there. See all the cool things it has to offer. All right, we had to turn around. We weren't going to make it with the gear that we have on, but I promise you guys, we will be back out here. We will have the right gear and we will get across and go explore that beautiful island right there. I guess it's an island. It's more of a, it's, no, it is an island at this point because it's separated on all sides by water. And this is low tide, so when it's high tide, it's definitely an island. That'll be really cool. I'd love to go all over that island. It's small, looks super explorable, yeah. and I'm sure there's some cool animals over there to discover. Yeah. 
All right, we're getting out of here, I think. This is a one-way road, so I'm gonna show you guys how beautiful this area is. Enjoy. I thought we were getting out of here, but there's no way we could just drive right past this beautiful rocky beach area. What a view. This is just too cool, too beautiful. She's filming me as I'm filming her. Look at him playing with rocks over there. He loves it. Where's the dinosaur egg? Jackson's got the dinosaur egg? Very cool. What do you think's inside of it? Oh, it's a hard rockosaurus. Ankylosaurus. An ankylosaurus? Those are some of my favorites. I love how they have those big old bludgeoning bulgers on the end of their tails. Look at all of the buoys. I'm gonna put this right here. Buoys as far as the eye can see, and I'm pretty sure each one of those is a trap of some sort. That is incredible. There is hundreds of them. Oh, look, there's a little island over there. And each one is color coordinated. And your color is the only one you're allowed to grab. Oh, look, there's more that way as well. Cool little island right there. This area has just blown us away. And the kids have had such an amazing time exploring. Going every which way. I gotta go cockeyed to keep an eye on all of them. I got an eye pointed this way and an eye pointed that way. You should see me right now. Check out my little rock collectors. Over here grabbing all kinds of beautiful rocks and seeing what color they change. They do this all on their own. There's so many red rocks and all kinds of blue and gray. There's some green rocks. What? Look at this one. Let's see what color. Yes, let's see what color it changes. It turns... Oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. If we had an aquarium, I would definitely put that rock in there. How cool is that? And they come in all shapes and sizes, literally from big bigger biggest they're all over the place and then tiny yes but they haven't been turned to sand yet but in due time what'd you find wow that's a nice one this has got a really good shape to it there's a tiny little pink one right here oh Ooh. prophylactic but anyways check out this <laughs> it was a lot less cool than I thought it was. And I have to touch something nasty. Good for me, I guess. Oh, wow, look at these ones. These rocks have hair on them. Look, it looks like Friar Tuck. It's got hair. These rocks have hair. And they have male pattern baldness going on, too. Uh, Check it out. Brush his hair for him. That's not hair. That is some beautifully vibrant green hair. Oh, gross. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, I love my kids so much. Literally, he's so incredible. You did? Wow, how is there not? Oh look, is that an Anhinga? I see you, I see you! I'm coming! Here I come to go and play! Oh wow, more rocks! I love it! Those are some beautiful rocks. That's a nice little boulder. I like that little boulder. Yes, I'm definitely going to keep the green one. Thank you. And as I'm sitting here thinking about it, I do remember seeing a sign that said, please don't take the rock, so I will not be taking this. But instead, I'll be doing something even better. Making sure nobody else can ever take it again. I think it went in the water. That was a left-handed throw. I haven't thrown with my left hand in a while, but it made it. Just imagine, I heard it go kabloom.
So it made it. I got. How's that any different than me taking that rock? It's never to be seen again now. Well, maybe. It's like we're on the shore. It'll probably be seen in a couple hundred years. But anyways, maybe not. You never know. Don't take the rocks, I guess. It's not worth it. I don't want to get fined for taking rocks. Much as I like them. That's a bummer. Taking a risk! Yes! We're not going to take in that risk. Taking them rocks. All right, we're just over here entertaining the kids with all the rocks. And look what I found. This little area right here is like a trampoline for rocks. Check this out. All right, not that one. That was a bad one. Try again. There it goes. Boink. Wow. These rocks really bounce. Yeah, they're all breadstone. Well, that one just decided to skip. Whoa, that one got some air to it. Whoa. Who knew? Woo. All right, everybody, make sure you throw rocks at each other. It's the safe Yay. thing to do. Whoa, that one went high.